Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Esther and today I bring you guys a Q&A slash curly girl tag. I gather a couple of questions that I have received on TikTok and also on YouTube, but also I have questions that I myself ask other people very often. So if you're interested in this kind of videos, please stay tuned to the end. So the first question is, how long have you been natural? I've been natural for about 13 years, uh, which is when I first came to the United States. I came to the States in 2010. I am Dominican, by the way. And when I moved to the States, I completely stopped getting relaxers. Back in DR, I used to get relaxers like every four to six months. And, but it wasn't always like that. I remember my first relaxer was when I was, I believe, 10 years old or nine to be 10. My family did this big birthday party where they literally closed the whole street from side to side to do my birthday party. It almost looked like a quinceañera, but they did it on the street because I wanted my 10th birthday party, but I wanted to, you know, look different. All I knew was pigtails, you know, a lot of pigtails, you know, in the Caribbean, they do this kind of hairstyles. And that's all I knew. I wanted my hair straight. And back then I did not know that you could actually just blow dry your hair or strain it and you know, if I knew, it would have been different. But it wasn't a super, like, strong relaxer. It was meant for kids. I went to a TV show, a Dominican TV show, and I earned it by competing with boys, girls and boys, and I earned it. And so I wanted to get it. And that's exactly what I did. Uh, hopefully, I can find a picture to insert when I got my first relaxer. Next question. How often do you cut your hair or trim your hair? I made a short about that. I trim slash cut my hair every six months to every year i used to do it more often but honestly i realized if you take care of your hair if you don't strain your hair that often if you do what's necessary to keep your hair healthy then you really don't need to cut it that much or that often my hair is not like 100 percent healthy so if you can see here i have some stringy pieces here in the front um, and that's because the last time I got my hair straight, I would do a very specific hairstyle um, where I would curl these front pieces of my hair and then do like a half up, half down or a ponytail. But with this part of my hair curled, this is my new growth. It would be like all the way up to here. So I cannot just cut it right now. The next question is how long did it take to grow your hair? my curly hair journey has been up and down up and down like i told you i've been natural for like 13 years already since 2010 and i transition cut let my hair grow but from there honestly i didn't even know how to take care of my hair uh very well so i often cut the ends of my hair and not even the ends but like i would cut big chunks of my hair and it would grow um fast that just kept cutting and letting it grow cutting honestly whenever i felt like i wanted to cut my hair i did it um, i didn't mind but it wasn't until 2020 yeah 2020 when i last transitioned because i have transitioned so many times already guys like i say i'm not gonna straighten my hair i'm gonna do it only once a year and then winter comes and here i am again straightening my hair so yeah it's a roller coaster. So next question is how often do you wash your hair? I wash my hair once a week, every week. I wash my hair and I've been very constant with it. It's not like, oh, one week I don't wash my hair, one week I do. It has always been every week. Even when my hair was relaxed, I used to wash my hair every week. So I feel like if you have curly hair, you have to get rid of the product buildup. I do not think it's a good thing to just be layering product over product over product when we do our washing goals we layer like two or three products i layer three products so i don't think that it's a good idea to you know keep doing that because that's when you have like this white cast and the residue i feel like i have to wash my hair get all of the products out and start over do you dye or color your hair and the answer is no last time i like got bleach in my hair was in 2020 when i last decided to you know cut the dead parts of my hair before that i had highlighters that 
have a cap but i never was able to wear a cap and do it because my hair is so curly that i just couldn't and i did it myself and my hair was so damaged and it broke and it just was not curling the same way so i just transitioned and cut it and yeah since then i've been you know taking care of my hair i do straighten my hair but it's not as often i do it like every like two times every year so what i do now is i buy this temporary hair wax and when i do my wash and goes not always but when i feel like i want to look a little bit different i would do my own highlights and i have a short on that so if you want to just see how i do it just go and or stop the video the other question is what's your hair porosity my hair porosity is low porosity for those of you who don't know there's high porosity normal porosity and high porosity low porosity basically means that your hair cuticles are extremely tight for your cuticles to open and allow product to get in you literally need to use heat um steam something warm it's so tight that guys even if you like get your cuticles to open and absorb the product you don't really need to put cold water to close it it's gonna close on its own it is extremely tight and once the product is in it's hard for the product to go out i feel like the warmer the water is the softer my hair becomes and easier for the product to get in so next question is do you consider your hair to be dry or not i feel like it's dry to the extreme yeah it's just dry natural hair curly hair is dry anyways but i feel like my hair is so dry the next question is what styling method do you use and i use the lcg method which uh, stands for leave-in conditioner cream and gel oh so yeah i do the lc g method but there's other methods that i want to try my hair loves hair custard or jelly those that are very slimy i feel like it provides moisture to my hair but also gives the shine and it provides a lot of hold for my hair just my hair loves it what's your curl pattern or hair type my hair is 3c 4a the majority of my hair i would say is uh, 3c and but then you know the crown part of my hair is very different i have to apply a lot more product the curls are a lot tighter very back the crown it's 4a and then the rest is 3c slash 4a um i wouldn't say 3c only because i have the 4a part in the back and i wouldn't say 4a only because i know 4a is a lot tighter than mine well not a lot honestly it's just a little tighter than mine right now my hair is wet so but it's still like it's already shrunken up because my hair in the beginning when i just finish applying all of my products it's gonna look almost straight but then it's just gonna like shrink up start shrinking up as it dries the next question are you a product junkie now i'm gonna say yes and i was a product junkie to the extreme before but then i realized that my hair loves the same three or six products and i started just focusing on those products I have a whole cabinet of products and some of them have gone bad so i just decided to stop buying it unless let's say i want to just try new products to see if i can add it to my list of favorites i have three favorite um living conditioners like three favorite creams or two and i have like three favorite gels but honestly the top one i'm gonna tell you my favorite living conditioner is the mayel pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner i just love it just my hair gets so soft it absorbs and the smell the smell is something else the cream i use the shea moisture curl enhancing smoothie um as a cream and also smells amazing my hair loves it loves how it feels that's my second favorite my first favorite cream and then for custard and my hair hates thick gels is the kinky curly curling custard something like that the only thing i don't like about that is that it's like literally like this and smells amazing too it's good this is the one i have now that's the the three products that i what have right protective now protective styles do you use that's the next question i do not do twists for um protective styles i don't do braids all i do is wash and goes 
uh, I have tried, trust me. It's not that it doesn't work. It does work for a lot of people. And I there's a girl on TikTok, her hair, I think that's the longest natural hair when it comes to like 3C, 4A, that is so, so long. And she does a lot of twists and uses lots of oils. But for me, I look like a child when I have twists and they take so long to dry. And I hate the feeling of wetness and being sticky. And I just feel like when I do twist, not only do I look like a child, but it takes forever to dry. And when I try to untwist it, it doesn't look good. Cool. Like I've seen people who have the most amazing hairstyles by doing twists. And honestly, just show me, tell me the tricks because it doesn't work for me. And I've watched videos and everything. It just does not work for me. I use lots of these and I can say it's a protective style because I am not using hair ties I use this and I only use hair ties when I'm gonna do like a ponytail or bun but I use this for half up half downs I use this to sleep at night I wrap it and I put this so this is my only protective style also a bun I guess because uh, I tuck my ends in a bun but I don't, I don't do any protective styles. Um, I would say protective styles, just don't touch your hair too much, don't bother it too much. The next question is, which hair treatments do you use? There's a bunch of them that I use. A couple of them from Shea Moisture, the blue one, I'm gonna put a picture, the one that is like yellow. There's one that I use from my L. What do you think about shrinkage? And that's a really good question. Shrinkage means that your hair is healthy, but Shrinkage doesn't necessarily mean that you have to wear your hair all the time shrunken up. Um, in my case, I have, since my hair shrinks a lot, like right now my hair comes all the way down to here and it shrinks so much. Um, but I had to learn that shrinkage causes tangles and tangles causes breakage. So for me, stretching my hair as much as I can is a good thing to avoid shrinkage and therefore avoid um breakage so shrinkage means it's healthy but shrinkage also means that your hair is gonna get tangled very fast and that your hair also can break so i honestly recommend to stretch your hair as much as you can because that just lessens the time in the shower when you're detangling your hair so yeah shrinkage is good and also bad mm. Now, the other question is, what's your favorite shampoo? For shampoo, honestly, I use any shampoo from Shea Moisture, the coconut one, any shampoo that is moisturizing and at the same time cleans my hair. I really don't have a preference when it comes to shampoo, but I do like um, the Shea Moisture ones. Now, conditioner, that's another topic. There's a white one that is a big one. Um, I love conditioners in big bottles. Uh, for me, conditioner has to be has to provide a lot of slip, uh, make my hair like hydrated, moisturized. And honestly, the the amount of conditioner in the bottle also matters a lot to me. I used to use one from Not Your Mother's, the pink one. It smells amazing and it also very it's very good to detangle my hair. So that's the one I used to use before. Totally stopped. I think it's because, again, I run out of it so fast. Um, I use a lot of conditioner in the shower. So yeah, I, I found that white one and I've seen it also in another girl who whose curls are tighter than me and she recommended it. Um, so I bought it and honestly, it melts tangles. It makes your hair soft. And I think it has some protein, I'm not sure, but it is not protein that is gonna dry out your hair or anything like that. It's the opposite, it just makes your hair, it provides the perfect balance. How long does your hair take to dry? Ages. My hair takes days to dry but i dry it myself i probably leave it like this for a little bit then i use my fan i use a fan to dry my hair i have a diffuser but i just don't use it because it gives me lots and lots of frizz it doesn't matter how i try how i do it it gives me lots of frizz and also it hurts my arm so i just don't use diffusers i dry my hair with a fan or with a heater during the winter time but if you have more questions just please comment down below the questions that you have for me um, regarding my hair or maybe even personal life you can just drop it there maybe i can make another video one of the tips that i would give you guys is 
especially if your hair is like mine. Before you apply your products, please, 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 please trust me on this one. If you want to have a very good and defined wash and go, please saturate your hair with water. Yes, yes, yes. Saturate your hair with water. Each section with water, not just the whole head. Each section saturated with water. And I recommend, especially if you have low porosity, to use warm water on your hair to open up the cuticles. The other tip that I would give you is don't be shy when you apply products. Don't just add a little bit of product. We do not have straight hair. Apply enough product to saturate your hair to make it soft. You will know when it's enough because you're going to feel apply it. Enough products, enough cream, enough gel, enough of whatever it is that you're using. But don't also do not oversaturate it to the point that you're going to have a white cast on your hair. Mix up your products. If you still have not found like the three products that work together, mix it up in your hand. Add a little bit of leave-in, add a bit, a little bit of cream, add a little bit of um gel or whatever it is that you use. Mix it up. And if it's really soft and has no bumps, that means it mixes well. And you're probably not gonna have, not probably, you're not gonna have a white cast on your hair. But if it's like in, has lots of bumps, that means you probably are gonna have lots of um white cast. And if you don't, then that still means that you're not gonna have like the greatest wash and go. So I do recommend you mixing up your hair products until you find the combination that works. Like for me, I don't mix it up because I know what works on my hair right now. So the other tip that I have for you guys is please section your hair, section it, section it. I know it takes a lot of time doing a wash and go. For me, only to do wash and goes it used to take me two hours. Only just to apply the products, to style my hair. It used to take me two hours. Now I have perfected it and I do it in less time. I would say 45 minutes, 40 minutes. I do it faster now. Section your hair because that's going to help you distribute the product well throughout your hair. You're not going to be missing spots without hair product. I feel like when you section your hair, and I don't mean like four sections, guys. If you have lots of hair, if your hair is very thick, even if it's not, section your hair it, it all depends on how much hair you have how thick it is how many sections you're gonna do but for me i make little sections and i mean sections like this like right now it look like a lab because it has a lot of product but when it doesn't have product this is a bigger section and i saturate it um i feel like it works better when i do it that way i've seen people who literally just do this and again if you have three big curls I know you can break your product. It's easy like that. But for me, I cannot do it because if I do it just this way, which may look good when it's wet, but when it dries, it's going to be really frizzy. For me, I have to section my hair. I know it's going to take a long time, but it also means that your wash and go is going to last longer. And therefore, you're not going to have to wash your hair again three days after. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up, share it with someone, subscribe to my channel. And if you stay to the end, I want to thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. If you have any video suggestions, please leave them. I will try my best to do them. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day and see you in the next one. Bye.